lots of ways to do student voice and schools have to be creative about what works for them. At Clevedon, they have lots of different systems that interweave into the school. So there are some systems based on the houses within the school so that you can, as a student, access mechanisms within that house that allow your voice to be heard. There's a whole student parliament that you can be involved in and projects that allow students to engage with the community outside of school. There are interest-based projects such as Xenia where students can come together to work on a specific interest. Xenia is our at Clevedon School project to build a library out of two shipping containers that we're going to get from the nearby shipping yard which is in Bristol. Xenia started literally by a group of students saying to me that um, there was no library in the school and that they really wanted books and it was something which was a move away from you know the iPad culture of having digital books and things like that and as head of English well I couldn't refuse so the whole concept of Xenia was formed. It's been running for a long time and it's the students that wanted to make this happen. The teachers have helped a lot, but it was the students who wanted this from the beginning and it's amazing that it's we're proving what we can do with our own voice. You know, it was just going to be a place where people could go and just have, relax and tell stories. You know, the Xenia is the concept of Greek hospitality. But then through Student Voice it became a library, a study centre. Just pretty much every aspect of it has been uh, the students have been considered that. So welcome to today. It's great to be back here again. I work for the Phoenix Education Trust. That is a charity in the UK which promotes student voice. Working with the whole school to help create a system where students can really have an impact on what school life is like. We're creating a circle to try to get Xenia up and off the ground. And you guys have done so much work for it already. And what I understand from today is that we're going to come together to move forward for the next phase of it. Last year when the Phoenix Education Trust did the Democratic Journeys workshop at Clevedon, the idea of building a library was sparked again. I think it's something that students had been talking about for a while, but that helped to create a spark. And over the last year, they've raised £15,000 to help build a library. So next time we all meet up, our main priority we think is going to be creating a Xenia website. So we've got yes. two options. Student voice is a really crucial part of what we do at Cleveland School and should play a crucial part in the running of any school. If we see the students as the learners and us just as the teachers and it's just a one-way street, then actually we're not getting the best out of either party. The students can be so creative, they think in ways that we might not think of, with sometimes quite institutionalised educational thinking. And the extra spark that the students provide really does challenge our thinking. It definitely won't be accessible. I think on the plans there was a ramp to the front door. So we were, if you were in crutches or a wheelchair, you can still do it. Yeah, we could use artwork from students in the school, so then it's more like student paper. Yeah, like everything's done by the students. I've been involved with Xenia for ever since it started. I was one of the um, first students to get involved with it. Maybe like the students would be the librarians, like checking yeah. out the books and. So instead of having a teacher doing it, it's a great opportunity to get students doing more and contributing to the running of what ultimately is their school. What's really important is that it's supported by the senior leadership, but also that there are teachers very passionate about it and they can ally with students to ensure that their voice is heard and that they support them through that process. I just wanted students to grab those opportunities that I missed out on whenever I was in school. And I think a real big reason for that is that I didn't have a say in what activities I got involved in and that's what Student Voice does, or at least that's what I try to make it do, is to give students ownership over their own education. And I think what's so good about this project, for me, this is a symbol of active positive change from the ground up and everybody putting something towards creating a space that is everybody's. We also wanted to visit the sites and try to get closer to identifying which site might be the most appropriate for Xenia. Terrain's good. I'm going to put that on pros, flat terrain. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. 
know you know you are. I'm not getting rid of all of these trees just to build a library space. So the other thing is just the proximity of this towards the front gate. So thinking about using it for the local community as well. I think this is a good one. So it would bring more nature and like prettiness. We visited all the sites and we debated on which sites we all thought would be best for, to build the library. What we want to find out is which is our favourite site. But I also want why. So this isn't a vote. We want to gather as many reasons for each site as possible. I think it's like two because everyone will be more creative because it's like woodlands and it's natural environment. I think site three is, is best. If, if there's already that open space there and instead of looking at what's already there, we could maybe look at what's, what could be there. So what was really lovely about today is that the students had so many opportunities to work in different groups. So as the day progressed, they had a chance to work with each person at some point. I really, really enjoyed forming into committees because then we know groups of who is interested in what and it shows us, oh, this person's interested with what I'm doing so we get more out of what we're doing. So we're the money people, so we overall, we are the management. I like to think I've got some ideas that made a bit of a difference. Because instead of having empty corners, you have like lines coming up flowers for finances. We want to be heavily incorporated with designs. So put finances is heavily related to how these we're going to get money in. You could have like willow trees kind of bending over the yeah. Oh my god, yeah. you know when like, you know when like trees, like you have a whole curve line of them yeah. and they like curve yeah. into each other. Yeah, we could have and that then, as like a path going up to it. Also maybe like you could have some speakers in the corner, so you like nice bird chirping. So maybe not like constantly, yeah. embrace nature. So now moving forwards, they need to get the project done. They have a year to get it done. They need to decide how it's going to be built, where it's going to be, how it's going to be staffed, what books are going to be in it, how books are going to be checked in and out. There are all sorts of details of the project that need to be decided. And so, so today's workshop was the foundations for the next phase of Zenia.